I realized that um, I didn't actually introduce myself, and there will be some people in this room who have no idea who I am. My name is Bill McNaught. I'm the National Librarian. Uh, once again, welcome to everyone. This is an event that we've been planning for the best part of this year uh, with colleagues in NASLA. NASLA, as you can see, stands for the National and State Libraries of Australasia. And it is our very clear intention to lead collaboration across the library sector. And something that we're all wrestling with in Australia and New Zealand, and I'm sure in Singapore as well, is to consider what role libraries play in helping to develop strong digital citizens. Clearly this is not all about libraries, so it's really encouraging that we've got such a mix of colleagues in the audience today, public sector, private sector, uh, across the three countries. Um, we decided that we should host such an event to pursue this idea of the role of libraries uh, in developing digital citizens. And I put my hand up uh, to say, please, can we host this event in New Zealand? And I'm delighted that my colleagues supported uh, my ambition to host this event here. I thought it was particularly appropriate because five years ago, National Library became part of the Internal Affairs Department. And one of the great strengths is the common purpose that we have in internal affairs in helping citizens to access the information that they need. And we also manage issues around privacy and security of that information. And sometimes there, there are tensions between access and privacy, access and security. Um, but there is nobody better placed in government than the Internal Affairs Department to discuss just how we manage those three important aspects of information management. So I'm delighted that uh, not only our minister was here, but as you heard, we have our departmental chief executive, Colin MacDonald, uh, to share some of his thinking uh, with us about some of these issues. The, I know that we have in the audience an, uh, a lot of librarians, but as I say, it's not only the librarian. Uh, one, of the, one of the features of librarianship is that we're very good at talking to ourselves. Um, the great thing for me today is that we have lots of other uh, viewpoints here in the, the room that I hope to hear from to help us with our thinking in libraries. I uh, just want to share with you um, something that I heard in a recent interview with US President Barack Obama. Um, and Barack Obama said that novels, reading novels, had taught him all the most important things he has learned about being a citizen. Quote, it has to do with empathy. It has to do with being comfortable with the notion that the world is complicated and full of greys. It's about the notion that it's possible to connect with someone else, even though they're very different from you. So it's not simply in terms of the hard facts, the information that libraries have been sharing with citizens for over 100 years. Uh, through public libraries, certainly. Um, even the President of the United States can see the value of citizens having access to reading novels. So there are three aspects to the program today. We are going to start with uh, the consideration of what the role of government is in developing a uh, society where citizens can prosper in a digital environment. Uh, we're also going to look at the subject of lifelong learning and education, and it's great to welcome back some colleagues uh, who had worked at the National Library, and it's good to have you back uh, here with us today to share some thinking about the role of libraries in helping to develop strong digital citizens in their lifelong learning. And we also know that there's an important role for libraries in the cultural space. So, 
what are the important aspects of uh, citizens sharing culture, having access to culture, growing as citizens through cultural development. So it is a really uh, interesting mix, at least I think it's interesting. I hope you will find it interesting as well. Um, let me pass now on to Corin Haynes, who is going to be the convener for the first part of today's program, and hand you over to Corin. Please welcome Corin. <laughs> 